Ready, set, go. To Tiny Bunny. This is one of those games. Sometimes I, I find stuff to play uh, because I watch another YouTuber start to play it and then I realize that this seems like a game that I would want to play for myself and could feasibly record. Uh, so I stop watching it, find out how much the game costs, and if it's either cheap or free, uh, then I buy it. And this is one of them. Tiny Bunny is a horror game, I'm assuming, um, that apparently uh, it's one of those ones where your choices affect the outcome, and if I've learned anything from the, from the end of, uh, of Death and Taxes, it's that I'm not good at my... Uh, at my choices. I'm not good with the choices. Make sure that my settings are okay. Yeah. Yeah. Voice. Nice. Cool. Okay, let's just get started. Hopefully... the text does not get blocked up by that follower goal. Um, so far I think we're okay. Hello. This is nice. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's gonna block that up. Hang on a moment. I'm gonna move that right on up here. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Alright. Anyway. The wind clawed at my window all night long. It wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast. An endless song weaved from all sorts of voices, shrill, gentle, sneery, twined in the air. They were shouting and laughing, and arguing about something. I should probably plug in. Oh, shoot. Did I not bring my plug? Hang on, guys. Okay. The wind is arguing about something. The wind is arguing with itself about something. Someone was running through the snow while casting long shadows that would occasionally creep close to my bed. Our house had a mind of its own, the creaky old mind of a building that had seen a lot in its days, and was seemingly trying to share its wisdom with the inhabitants. Okay, alright, I like, <laughs> I like that. I like it when a house is its own character. That makes things quite interesting. The lonely house faced the forest, and the dark green thicket gazed back with its hollow eyes, rustling, whizzing, swaying back and forth. One could come out and stand at the edge of the forest to reassure themselves. There was nobody. There was nobody behind the, cro the crooked trees fuzzy silhouettes swinging in the wind couldn't possibly do any harm. No, fuzzy silhouettes, that's nothing to worry about. Never anything to worry about when it comes to fuzzy silhouettes. It's just a play of light and shadow. Just a play. That's, all, that's what I tell myself whenever I am about to go on stage. It's just a play. I knew it was just my imagination. I was already 12 after all. Oh, so basically an adult. Basically a fully grown person. Like, no, no, no further personal development to go from there. Still. Ooh, oh, I see the... Oh, I saw a fox in there. Hello. Oh, this is cute. This is nice. Look at this. Hey... Put away your bug. This is what the mom sounds like. How many times have I told you not to read at the table? It's bad for your health. Look at how slouched you are. Oh my gosh. It's me. Except I never read at the table. I was always looking at something else. I was just slouched in general. Just always slouched. 
should I hide the book? Can I just click? This is very pretty. I love this. I'm gonna hide the book. Because you can't stop me from reading books. I didn't protest and put the, the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. Nice. Nice reading there, bud. I was stuck on a line I couldn't understand after reading it three times anyway. What was the line? Olya had already finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic, she almost looked like your typical girl from commercials. That's a cute younger sister. That's a good looking, good, good kid. You're not getting anywhere until you finish all of it. I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes, as if it would make the porridge disappear. Yeah, try, I've tried that many times before. It doesn't doesn't make a whole lot of difference, unfortunately. Hazy anxiousness welled up inside, all because of the previous sleepless night, the black forest around our house, and the gloomy wind. Hmm. Okay. The longer I waited, the colder the lumpy white substance became. Yeah, that is usually how cocaine works. That is usually how it works. It looked like a jellyfish from the Cousteau Odyssey. I love that show. I'm not familiar with that one. I'm not familiar with that show. I wonder how horrifying the bottom of the ocean is. Quite very horrifying, I would imagine. Or how cold the Black Forest is at night. Is this going to be like a Gretel and Hansel sort of situation? Is that what we've got going on here? I'm talking about the Black Forest, which is where a lot of Grimm's fairy tales take place. The spoon fell out of my hand. What are you doing, dude? What's, uh... Mom showered me with a cold glare from her green eyes. That's an interesting word choice. Showering with a cold glare. N never imagined that someone would shower a glare, but sure. Alright. What did I just say? I get... Uh, I get it! Oh. He probably, he, this kid reads books. He probably doesn't sound like that. I had ten seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty porridge once again. I felt around for the spoon. What is this? Carved on the other side of the table. I don't know, why don't you show... Ca Cap... Karina. Karina. I was about to say Cap... Nah. But apparently that means, that says Karina. Which is nice to know. Ha! That's my mom's name. That's a nice name. Good name. I guess she carved it out with something pointy when she was little. Sure. Sure. We'll go with that. That's the explanation we're gonna go with. She sure was a rascal, damaging the furniture like that. She would scold me for a week if I did something similar, though. Should I remind her about it? No. She's been in a bit of a bad... In a bit of bad mood lately. I imagined her being my age, sitting under this table. I wonder, was mom afraid of the dark back then? I don't know, maybe she was afraid, she, she probably had some other irrational fear. Or the sounds coming from the attic, yeah, maybe that. Or the thick forest, maybe. All of these things are, hello, grandma. All of these things are reasonable. I imagined my grandma coming into my little mom's room. Sitting at the edge of her bed where Olya sleeps nowadays, and saying this in her soft, smooth voice. <clears> Hi, <throat> guys, a special place, little girl. It's watching you closely, sniffing you out, trying to discern what kind of beast you are. If you're a good sort, it won't abandon you in times of trouble. But you're a, if you're a bad apple, it'll grab you by the side and drag you under the ground. Thanks, Granny. Thanks for the thanks for the cautionary tale there. I appreciate that. And that would be it. Grandma was caring, clearly. <laughs> she never fought with anybody, never yelled, never swore. Those were the times without the maddening screams until late at night, without smashed 
dishes and mutual accusations. Oh no, oh no. Our parents used to love each other back then. Oh no. Oh, this family's got some history. I remember listening in on one of their conversations by chance. They were talking about Grandma getting prepared for her funeral. She had already bought a casket. And she called it her cute funeral box. Nice. Sure. Alright. Yeah. It waited for its time in the closet. Patiently. You just... I feel like that would be a bit of a weird vibe to have going. Just having your... Your casket just waiting in a closet in your house. I feel like I wouldn't be too happy about that. Hang on a moment. Love? Okay. It was black, upholstered with meat-colored material on the inside. I saw it when my grandma was getting buried. The house didn't change since the time she was alive. Only all of the photos were gone. Okay. Okay. Glass-covered pictures with gray faces of my ancestors. They all had a dead but watchful look in their eyes. Great. That's my favorite kind of look to get from pictures. I crawled out from under the table. Thanks for that history lesson. Olya was done with her cookies and was looking at my share like a sly woodland critter. I turned my gaze toward the frosted window. There were a lot of dark pines outside, but they didn't grab my attention. I mean, they're beautiful. This is... First off, I haven't even gotten halfway into the game. And this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just say that. The pattern of frost formed a picture on the glass. Yeah. Oh, there's the fox again. Or is that a raccoon? It's a fox. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the reading, Chad. Oh, yeah, look. It's a fox. <laughs> it looked almost like those optical illusion thingies they put on the back of student notebooks. A mixture of lines at first glance, but if you blur your vision a little bit and look under a certain angle. No, I can see it. I can see it. Not outside, on the window. Look, here's the nose, and here's. Hey, eat up. Yes, yes, just a moment. Mom, I'm trying to help my sister see the beauty in nature. I don't see anything. Hurry up, there's not much left. Ah, there it is. But it still doesn't look like one. I don't know what to tell you then, Olya. I don't know what to tell you. And I'm telling you, it does. Nah, ah. -uh. It does. Uh. Stop it. These kids, I swear. Now I couldn't see the fox either. It disappeared. Shoot, dude. Getting some dropped frames here, y'all. Sorry about that. I don't know what's happening. Whatever. If anything, you can watch on YouTube. Went away. Only the frosty patterns, similar to stretched out nettle leaves, kept creeping up the glass. My dad entered the kitchen with long- Oh, there is a dad! The dad's still around here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. That's a, that's a dashing dad right there. That's, that's a dream daddy. Is what that is. Right there. I want to have a beard like his when I grow up. I mean, not far off. Not too far off. Although I like the fact that he's got, like, the fully formed, but still, like, well-trimmed thing. Where it, like, connects with his sideburns and he's... He could have mutton chops if he wanted. But he instead just let it all connect without letting it, like, grow out into a full, like, Duck Dynasty beard. Um, this is all to say it's a good-looking dad. 
Mom would always ask jokingly, Come on, shave it off, it stings. This was so long ago. I've never been told that. Uh, nowadays, rumbling doors and witty comebacks were an everyday occurrence. That's good. That's nice. Olya always covers her ears whenever she hears something like, What's the point in all this? Through the wall. It's all... It's all for your sake, Dad would reply. For the sake of our family. I always caught every sound in fear of hearing the most dreaded, the deadliest word that started with a D. D... D-I-V-O... D... I don't even want to finish it. D-I-V-O... I don't know what it means. It was scary to imagine that me and my little sister could be torn apart and taken into two different families. Oh, oh, they're talking about divorce. Okay. Anyway, your fox is nothing. I have an owl on my window. You and your owl talk again. <laughs> you said you believed me just yesterday. Has anybody seen my car keys? I remember leaving them on the windowsill. Right. Maybe it did, and maybe not. Okay, Mom. You're not being, you're not being helpful here. I feel like there's a little bit of unnecessary sass going on here. I don't know the full context of this relationship, but I don't know if that was a necessary comment. You're a grand man, a father of two, and still... Karina, please stop. Yeah, yeah, just let me get ready in peace. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. A lot to unpack. Your keys are in the basket, near the phone. Well, thank you very much. Anton, stop making a martyr out of yourself and finish eating already. Alright. And the owl? There was no owl. There might have been an owl. That could have been an owl. But there was one! It had giant glowing eyes. Olya sprung up from the chair and placed her hands on her little face, imitating a pair of eyes with her fingers the size of an apple each. That's adorable. That's adorable. Last year you had bye bye in your closet. Now this owl? Who's bye bye? Who's bye bye? But, but I saw it. Olya shifted her gaze back and forth from dad to mom to me, but couldn't find any support. I believe her. I believe her a hundred percent. Have you thought about befriending it? Dad, don't you know you're in a horror game? Don't you know? You know, like feeding it with imaginary mice. Damn bully our girl. That's not bullying. That's not bullying. As long if he's if he's playfully taking her seriously, that's not bullying. She's just afraid to sleep alone because she's so little. She see that's bullying. That's bullying is assuming that she's afraid to sleep alone. Just because she's small. Don't approve. Olya pouted her lips in rebellion and rushed into the hallway. The staircase that led to the second floor creaked. Mom gave Dad a strict look. It looks oh I can't tell if that look is her eyes are going two different directions, it seems. I can't... I can't quite tell where she's looking. It's hard to... But it looks like she might also be looking at me. I don't know why she'd be giving me a strict look. Oh, that look in her eyes. It's so uncomfortable to, to be pinned under it. Dad just snorted in reply and left. Ringing with the keys he just found. A minute had passed... And the theme song from The Little Mermaid echoed through the house. Are we talking about, uh, 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 part of your world? Or are we just assuming that's the theme song? It was stored on an incredibly worn-out cassette tape, which Dad had already glued together once. It's so easy to fix objects by gluing them back together, for example. 
but how do you fix a relationship? I knew they were going to ask. I knew the glue keeping things together sort of thing was going to lead to this question. Mom moved to the living room and I was left alone, anxiously stealing glances at the window. Just a moment. Good lord. <sighs> oh, hello. Olya had trouble sleeping ever since we moved to this house. Yeah, maybe then it's the house. Maybe then it's the house. Maybe it's the house. She would toss and turn or curl up into a ball under her blanket. Sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the VCR. Mm, okay. Cartoons helped to take her mind off all the troubles we had with the move and our parents. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't like... Hello. And then Olya said she saw that giant flying monster outside her window. Oh, no. She became obsessed with it. Our parents did everything in their power. They tried every little trick to get rid of those ridiculous fears. Okay. Olga refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her nightmares. After tonight, I was unsure of what to make of my sister's words, what to think of it myself. Can nightmares be infectious? Ah, uh, fears can be infectious. And then those fears... If you're not willing to face those fears, then they can work their way into your subconscious, which then manifests in nightmares. So indirectly, yeah. Just last night, I couldn't get a wink of sleep and ended up thinking of what to expect in my new school. Oh boy, here we go. There were a couple of days left before the beginning of a new term. My imagination drew long, twisting hallways that led to a classroom full of kids. But all the students behind their desks were simply dark figures cut out using a template. Oh, I don't like that. Is that, a, is that a queen poster on the wall there? I like that. That's cool. Circular holes gaped in the middle of their faces, and pairs of eyes blinked inside those holes. It was as if some complete completely different creatures were looking at me from behind the, the flat black sil silhouettes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Their cruel glares filled with icy sneers made me shiver from head to toe. Yeah, school is terrifying. School is very terrifying. Will I survive here? Probably. It's terrifying, but you'll make it. You'll be okay. Won't they gang up on me and beat me down? Stomp on me with their bloodied shoes? P possibly. Possibly. The damn school can burn for all I care. This is fair. Uh, the school doesn't have to burn, but I understand the, the sentiment. I would just wish for anything to happen to it. Doesn't really matter what. Didn't want to go there that badly. Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. Okay. I didn't want to see people who are just itching to smack me on the head, trip me up, think of a new offensive name for me, worse than the previous one. Yeah, I get that. I felt like the gra glasses I wore made me an outsider, or some sort of a monster. My gaze slid across the drawings hanging on the walls. I couldn't consider myself a great artist, but Olya begged me to hang them. Drawing was the only thing that made me happy as of late. That's good. It's good to have something like that. It's good to have something that makes you happy. The small circle of friends I had also I had also enjoyed my paintings, and they promised to call me from time to time to time to time. Sometimes I imagine mom picking up the phone and saying in a cold voice, You've got the wrong number. Or Anton is not around. Oh boy. Oh no. Anton is not around. 
I imagine my future classmates lying on their beds, just like me, listening to the howls of invisible werewolves outside their windows. Maybe my new classmates will like me after all. There you go, that's the attitude. Nice. But who would ever like a boy with thick glasses? I would. I'd be your friend. I mean, my dad used to wear glasses when he was little. And now he's married to the most beautiful woman on the planet. My mom. It's a good looking mom. She's a good looking mom and a good looking dad. Good looking couple. The house creaked pressed by the wind. The condo we used to live in, a nine-floor concrete building, buzzed with the neighbor's drill, mumbled with the TV set from behind the wall, cried like a baby from the big family next door. Our current house, though I can't really call it new, was completely different. And we're going to talk about the rest of the house in the next episode, if you're watching on YouTube. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I find this stuff really interesting. Uh, it's nice to do one of these sort of visual no novels every now and then. Um, yeah, if you liked it, you can go ahead and click the like button. If you've got thoughts on what's going... Excuse me, if you got thoughts on what's going down, put them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed or rung the bell, those are both things you can do. I'll see you later.